Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to Fallout 4 on the Xbox Series X. It's the day after launch and I want to spend this day trying out some of the last gen, as we can call it that now, last gen RPGs and sharing it with you guys. I'm starting from the home screen here because I want to show you how quickly it loads up in comparison to how it used to. Pretty swift. I've also deleted all of my save data because I want to start everything from scratch. Probably actually, the, the if you've got a lot of save data from a game like this, you're probably... I mean, look how quick that was. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> At this point, when you hit start button, it'll do a sync. And if you've got a lot of save data, it'll take it maybe about a minute to sync it all from the cloud. Which is nothing to do with the console as such. That's just how quick the cloud is. So, I've already done that and I've already decided to delete all of my saves. So we can start afresh, people. Let's crack in. New game. That music though. OMG. Looking forward to this. A Microsoft Studio now, people. My great great grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. <laughs> size of that pit boy in the 21st century people awoke from the American dream years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource the entire world unraveled peace became a distant memory it is now the year 2077 we stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes. I thought we'd just let that play out. You can skip it, but... Gets the vibe going, doesn't it? Customization. War never changes. You're going to knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Okay, now the last few times I've, I don't think I've ever played this game as a bloke, I always go as the woman. <laughs> I love the voice actress, and I generally go as female characters anyway, because I'm just a bit strange that way. But, hey. should we just do the same thing again? Otherwise it's going to feel weird. Actually, I don't think that's true, I think the first time I ever played this game I went as a bloke, and then every time after that I went as a female. Okay, we'll keep 
keep this nice and short, I think. Let's just go for... So we've got... Face, extras, sex, body. Oh yeah, I remember. I remember now. Wait. Did you go to the hairdresser yesterday? I might have done. It's nice of you to notice. <laughs> Style. Could go for a good old ponytail. <laughs> I think I went for the fairy tales last time, right enough. Sure, why not? I have the best hairdresser, I swear. If I had hair people, that's how I would wear it. <laughs> right. Uh, I think we can probably just leave it as that, actually. Just keep her as she is. And let's go. Let's go. Uh, how do I move on? Hey, baby Sean. Ah, <laughs> oh, good morning, Mum. Hello, Codsworth. Seventy-three point five degree Fahrenheit. Brewed to perfection. Thanks, Codsworth. Of course, Mum. Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. <laughs> Pretty sure if you come back in here after everything goes south and you find that mag that comic, you get a perk or a level up of some description. Oh, yeah, there's the Vault Tech guy. Should be coming soon. I know we were nervous at first, but I'm glad we got Codsworth. I've never quite figured out what instigates the hey Codsworth guy coming to the door. It just kind of happens after a period of time. Here he comes. I see his hat. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, are you going to ring the bell? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, ma'am, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning... Yeah, we'll better get a move on. <laughs> so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. But I have a family. You can fit us all, right? 
Of course, of course. Miner's your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. Okay. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. <laughs> Here we go. Time for Steve to not know what he wants to do every time he plays the game. <laughs> All right. Strength is a measure of your raw physical power. Affects how much you can carry and the damage of all melee attacks. I'll run through each one just for people that may not have played the game before. I tend not to do a huge amount of melee. I always end up on guns and energy guns as well. Perception is your environmental awareness and sixth sense and affects weapon accuracy in VATS. Yeah, so perception is well handy. Endurance is a measurement of all overall physical fitness. It affects your total health and action points drained from sprinting. Charisma is your ability to charm and convince others. It affects your success to persuade in dialogue and prices when you barter. Intelligence is a measure of your overall mental acuity and affects the number of experience points earned. Oh, really? Blimey. Never actually... I don't think I've ever actually invested in that heavily in order to make use of that. Affects the number of experience points you earn. So actually high intelligence is going to make you level up faster. Agility is a measure of your overall finesse and reflexes. It affects the number of action points in VATS and your ability to sneak. Luck is a measure of your general good fortune and affects the recharge rate of critical hits. So... Strength does affect how much you can carry, so it is useful to a degree although i won't be using melee attacks too much <clears throat> i think we'll go for a lump in perception a lump in well we might as well put a lump in intelligence if it's going to affect the amount of experience points we're earning Endurance is a measure of overall physical fitness. It affects your total health and action points drained from sprinting. What were the two VATS ones? Uh, here we go. Agility is a measure of your overall finesse and reflexes. It affects the number of action points in VATS. Yeah, so we want, we want a lot of action points in VATS. Thank you. We'll have a little bit of luck, I think. We'll take a bit of charisma. Total health and action points drained from spring. Yeah, well, we'll top our health up a little bit, I guess. And want to better carry a bit, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, the downside of this game outside of three was that you can't smelt your weapons and stuff together. So you end up carrying a whole bunch of stuff to sell, if I remember rightly. Or, well, I'll break down for components as well, right enough. So, our two VATS things are high. I think we'll go with that, yeah? Seems reasonable. I've got one left. <clears throat> Let's do it. Oh. <laughs> Completely skipped my name. Go with my usual for a female. Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congrats. Right here. Yeah. You better hurry up because it's gonna kick off in a minute, mate. Future. Um. Thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. Possibly the quickest I've ever done all of that. For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that maternal affection. All right. Sorry, Sean. Come in, pal. I'll be there in a second to help, okay? 
My boy isn't giving. Could you, could you, da da da? That mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? Just put your thing on. That's my boy. Enjoy this moment, Shawnee. It's about to kick off, son. Well, most of the time, anyway. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. And do what? Hey, sarcastic Halloween prep. Sounds fun. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir, Mum, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? I was trying to remember how to. It's not told me as yet, but I was trying to remember how to go into first person view. Ah, there we go. It's the back button. Followed by, yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. Wait, we seem to what? have lost contact with what our did he say? stations. Oh no. We do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We need to get to the vault. Now! Oh, he's got the baby already. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills. Okay, first person, I think. Evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Hold on, little guy. Hold on. So far, so smooth. I suspect it's locked at 30 frames per second anyway, but we shouldn't see any dips or anything when we're playing it, which I haven't seen yet. Not on the list. You don't get in. I'm going in. You can't stop me. Excuse me. I'm reporting this. If you're in the program. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant. Adult male. Adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, sir. You two, follow me. God Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Wow, it looks great, doesn't it? Step on the platform in the center. Let's go into third for this, I think. He's fine. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh my god! What the shit? Okay, lower the lift, please. Lower the lift, please. Thank you. <laughs> Holy hell. Got that a bit close. In an orderly fashion. No need to worry, <laughs> folks. In an orderly fashion. In your new home, Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just. Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later. No, no, we don't. Don't get caught up thinking about that. For you. You're safe now. All new just this way, please. Please proceed in an orderly fashion. Female. This way. Home. This one's good. Step over to the table, take a seat. This way, please. Just step over to the table. Hello. Before we can take you further. Uh, welcome. Thanks. Pick up a seat right now, over there. Just, just follow the doctor way. here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. All right, doc, let's go. See? This is our new home. Oh, you're going to love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in D.C. Here you are. How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. 
Just a few medical items we have to get through first. It's a good fit. Just yeah, checking everyone the off the list as they come in. fashionable as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. <laughs> in there. I meant to put my suit on in there. It's not very spacious, my friend. Could you help me? I think what he meant was stand there in front of me and take your clothes off and put that on. <laughs> Pervy doctor. Before we head deeper in the vault, just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three. Out of time. Come on. There has to be a release. Failure in cryogenic obey. All residents must vacate immediately. Come on, come on, come on. who did this and I'll get Sean back I promise all right let's crack in if you actually go around all the pods it just says oh God. why would vault tech do this they're all basically dead inside each pod Playing very nicely, I've got to say. Nice and smooth. Loading screens are nice as well. It's playing seamlessly. Going for it. Well, even just going through the story bits there. And on the lift when we came down. Loading screens are nice and swift. <coughs> got a spanner. Oh. 
<laughs> I can't. Uh, how do I do my inventory? Oh, here we go. Hmm. Sure, why not? Let's take some clipboards. We're going to be using it all later anyway. Vault 111 monitoring terminal. Cryogenic array, life support. I think sometimes there's little achievements and stuff for reading through certain things, or you get quests for reading certain things, lets you know what happened to people. I'm not sure you get a quest in here, though. Hmm. Could have sworn that was where we were meant to go. But it's not. Bugs. Ooh, syringe. Thank you. Stim pack, even. Vault 11 security instructions. Gives you quite a lot in this vault, actually, for when you get outside. For using for crafting. I'm sure I'm meant to have a spanner or something by now to whack things with. Ah, bat on, thank you. Sure, let's take some red roach meat. Giant roaches. What the hell? I know. I feel your pain. Whoa. <laughs> that was not part of the plan. I was just trying to pick up a bottle. Get up. Come on now. There's no time for sitting down. You've been resting for about 3,000 years or something. Yeah, some good stuff actually. I can I can already remember what half of this stuff actually helps you build, like copper wire and all that sort of stuff. Pretty sweet. One of these terminals has got a game in it. Yeah, recreation terminal. Here we go. Overseer memo. Top ten. Is it Space Invaders or something? No, oh, Red Menace. So far, so good. Come on now, I jumped that, surely. <laughs> 50 meters, yay! Yeah, I think that's enough of that. I'm sure there was some good stuff near the lockers. Maybe not. There is a room though with a bunch of stim packs and stuff in it. I'm sure there is. No, I don't want to go across there.
What happened here? Where is everyone? It's a bit concerning when they're all skeletons. <laughs> Something is strange is going on. Things are very fishy in Denmark. <sighs> Hello. Oh yeah, here's the stim packs here. That's his das. Ten millimeter, ten millimeter pistol. Thank you. Ammo, yes, please. Is this all that's left? Ooh, more ammo. Another pistol. Ooh, look at that bad boy. Need to be a master to unlock that, though. Cryolator case. I don't think I've ever been back for that in all my... Po I've never finished this game, actually. I've always got really far and never actually finished the campaign. Oh, hello, clipboard. Yes, please. I think they've got springs or something in them, if I remember rightly. Oh, this is the bedroom I was thinking of. There's a few bits in, I think. More bullets. More slim packs, bobby pins. All right. I think it's time to get out of here, people. Cryolator. I've long dreamed of making cryogenic freezing available in a portable, on-demand form. The cryolator is my latest attempt. Thankfully, we're in no short supply of the chemicals and components. I need to tinker with the prototype. It's a nice way to occupy the time and as as we wait for the all clear signal. Yes, yeah, so it's a freezing gun by the looks of it. Open evacuation tunnel. Opening tunnel. That'll do nicely. Wow, it's, it is really smooth. I am very impressed, I have to say. I must say... I think it was better with me. I think you're better just slapping them around with a baton. When you looks like the last of them. Time to get our Is anyone alive? Doesn't look like it. Did anyone get out? Yeah, we came in there. That, oh, that was the door that we couldn't get through earlier. We've had to go all the way around. So we must have unlocked both doors with the computer. Time to get our pit boy. Am I the only one left? Sneaky little roaches.
I love that. Shut him down with the thumb. Nice. Chain sections there. RT, LT. Chain sections with. So LTRT for top one and D-pad for submenu. Here we go. Let the journey commence. Seem to have some recollection of getting extra vault suits down here, but maybe it's later on. Yeah, maybe it is. My memory isn't what it once was. <laughs> right, let's go. Well, this lift is looking a lot more rusty than it was the last time I saw it. Change name, special attributes, change appearance. Finished and exit the vault. Enjoy your return to the surface and thank you for choosing Vault Tech. Now this will be the interesting bit. I mean, how quick was that? Jeez, oh. There was almost no point to the loading screen. What the shit? There's a few bits to collect around these ear parts, I think. Molotov, Red X. Oh yeah, you can push the elevator back down, I'll call it. Mm, not really know why I would want to fold it. I mean, all of the bits it gives you right at the very beginning. When you first play this game, you think, why would I pick all that up? But <laughs> once you, if you want to do any of the sort of crafting stuff, then it's got all of the bits you need to make anything, isn't it? Oh, there we go. Why to jump? It is really smooth, guys. Really smooth indeed. I wonder if they will release a patch for it to uncap the frame rate. Be worth seeing if it can do at least 1440p maybe on uh, 60 frames per second. My you, might be capable of 4k at 60 frames. I'm sure there was other places to go into. Got all of them. Ah, I think that's it. Mm. 
Left to sprint. Hub flower. Oh yeah, you need to make your garden as well, don't you? I wonder if there's any... Didn't dishes out that little flower that I always notice at the beginning because you need to you need to grow food. I'm not overly sure that hub flower was food, but anyway. Yeah, that's nothing. Wow, it looks great. It really does. Sanctuary. Codsworth, God bless you. So, what time are we on here, people? Let's have a little chat with Codsworth. As I live and breathe. I know. Oh, it's it's really you. Codsworth, what happened to the world? The world, Mum. Well, besides our geraniums still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Sir back. Where is your better half, by the by? They... They killed him. Oh, Mum, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers. Or perhaps Shiraz. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? He's gone. God damn it. Someone took him. They stole my baby. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> Two hundred years? What? Are you sure? A bit over two hundred and ten, actually, Mum. Give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack if you must be famished. <laughs> Codsworth, you're acting... A little weird. What's wrong? I... I... Uh, Mum, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And... Don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car, the car, how do you polish rust? <laughs> Calm yourself down, man. What do you know? Focus, stop it, stay with me. Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were were dead. I I did find this hollow tape. I believe Sir was going to present it to you as a as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Hollow tape. A hollow tape. What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard holotape reading device should be able to play it back. Oh, like that Pip-Boy on your arm. That should work brilliant. Well, that's handy. And I'm feeling sorry for myself. 
Shall we search the neighborhood together? Let's do it, Codsey. May turn up yet. Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, Mum. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? Yeah, let's go. Lead the way. Proud to serve, Mum. Right, well, I think that's an ideal place to wrap up the intro to the game. Let's have a little save, shall we? Because we've not done one at all. Oh, they must be auto-saves from in the bowl, yeah. Yeah, I have to say, it's playing really smooth. I mean, you can see it's still 30 frames per second, but it's really, really, really smooth at doing it. And the loading screens are super fast. And popping-wise, I've not seen much going on with that. You know, it, everything just looks like it's just running the way we've always wanted it to. I mean, it looks terrific. It really does. So, really looking forward to playing a bit more of this for you guys, if you're interested in seeing some more. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you in Fallout 4 on the Xbox Series X. And I shall see you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.